Welcome to History and Firearms. In this series, we will be running historic military surplus firearms through modern shooting drills. This is a fun way to experience how these firearms may have been used in a combat environment and some of the quirks that go along with them. It also provides some metrics that can be used to compare these firearms. To gain more insight into how these firearms might have been used, period correct ammunition pouches will be used as well. As in modern shooting standards, all these drills will start with the firearm unsafe. Today, we will be using the U.S. Carbine Caliber 30 M1, commonly known as the M1 Carbine. Designed by the Winchester Company, it was intended as a replacement for the M1911A1 pistol, primarily for rear echelon troops. The M1 Carbine's lightweight and effectiveness made it popular as a replacement for both pistols and submachine guns used by frontline troops as well, though. It would become the most produced small arm of World War II, with over 6 million produced and continue to see service by the U.S. into Vietnam. It weighs 5 pounds, 13 ounces, and is 35.6 inches long. The M1 carbine is a gas-operated, semi-automatic carbine and is chambered for the 30 carbine cartridge. It is loaded with 15 round detachable magazines and this will be done from a U.S. M1 carbine double magazine pouch. The first drill is going to be the Bear Solutions Shooting Standards drill. Typically this is five rounds on one rectangle, five rounds on the other rectangle, empty gun reload, and then three rounds in the circle in the center. For this Millsurp Operator video series, we're going to reduce the round count. We're going to do two on one rectangle, two on the other rectangle, empty gun reload, and one into the center circle. We're going to do this drill and these following drills. We're going to do all these at 10 yards. This drill is going to be what's called the quads drill from T-Rex Arms. Typically it's four rounds in one circle, empty gun reload, four rounds in the other circle. But for this, we're going to reduce the round count down to two rounds in one circle, empty gun reload, two rounds in the other circle. This is going to be the one reload three drill. Pulled this from Amy 556's website. It's going to be one round in the A zone on the target, empty gun reload, two rounds to the A zone, and then one round to the head. After running through these drills, here's what I noticed. With the sight set at 100 yards, there was no offset at this distance and no holdover was needed. 
This carbine has a later rotary safety and it is quick and easy to take off. With the familiar aperture sight picture, lining up the sights was quick and easy, resulting in quick first round times and follow up shots. The light weight of the carbine also helps with getting those first rounds off quickly and the semi-auto operation is an obvious benefit over bolt action rifles. As for the reloads, the empty magazine does not drop free and has to be pulled out. Getting the new magazine out of the magazine pouch was no problem and reaching over for the operating slide handle was also not an issue, especially with the relatively light operating spring. On the bare solutions drill, my second and third round split was a little longer than normal because I was looking at my first round that nearly missed. The T-Rex arms and one reload three drills went smoothly and this is reflected in the times. The M1 carbine ended up with some of the top times for the drills and the fastest cumulative time for the drills so far. It is a light and handy carbine with light felt recoil and is a joy to shoot. The detachable magazine and semi-auto action also add to the speed and efficiency in operation. That being said, the M1 carbine and 30 carbine cartridge were designed to replace a pistol and not a battle rifle, so it's not the best comparison for the rest of the rifles in this series. It was fun to do these drills with the carbine though. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Then let us know what you thought or would like to see with a comment. If you'd like to see more of this content, please consider supporting the channel. A link to our Patreon page is in the description. If you want to show off your Millsup operator skills, follow History and Firearms on social media and tag us with hashtag Millsup operator. Links to all these drills and a shooting time comparison for all the videos in the series is in the description. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.